All right, so just another example here of basically finding a value of one of the trig functions. So here we've got a little uh, right triangle. Let me now it's a right triangle, um, and we don't know this missing length x, but we want to figure that out because we want to figure out what the cotangent of this angle g is. So remember, cotangent of an angle, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Cotangent is going to be the adjacent over the opposite. Well, the opposite side, we already know, is 6. The adjacent side, though, is this value x, and that's what we're going to have to figure out. But this isn't at all really too terrible. We're just going to have to use Pythagorean theorem. So it says 6 squared plus x squared. That has to equal, well, 5 times the square root of 2 squared. 6 squared is just uh, 36. Uh, 5 squared of 2 squared, we've got to square each part, so 5 squared will be 25. Uh, the square root of 2 squared is just going to be 2. Okay, so really we've got 36 plus x squared equals 50. We can subtract 36 from both sides. That's going to give us x squared equals 14. And now we can simply take the square root of both sides. Again, you normally get positive and negative, but x here is going to have to be positive because it's the length of a triangle. Uh, you could factor 14 as 2 times 7, but that doesn't really break down any further. So I'm just going to leave x here. Uh, I'm going to just simply leave that as the value square root of 14. So now we're pretty much done. Uh, it says to figure out cotangent of this angle g, it says it's going to be the adjacent side. And the adjacent side we've now figured out is the square root of 14 over the opposite side, which is 6. And now we've got our answer.